Oh, there it is. 31 minutes ago, right on the mark. Hassan makes a point about the usage of certain sl Let's take a look at this fucking chatter. Because remember, clips are only for subscribers. Only subscribers can clip. So this person is a subscriber specifically so they can clip stuff for Destiny. All right. Hassan might truly be unwell at this point. Destiny is just running through that tiny little head of his, living absolutely rent-free. Get this. Hassan is so afraid of being clipped that he has set his channel to only allow subscribers to clip content. In some bizarre attempt to prevent him from being exposed by Destiny and put onto LSF, this dude is getting so paranoid that he's attacking year-long plus subscribers and accusing them of being undercover Daliban, purely based off the fact that they have clipped him in situations that he doesn't like and posted it to LSF. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, what did you expect, dude? Do, do you just think everything stupid you say is going to stay private to your community? Dude, you have thousands of people watching you every single day. Don't be so naive. I suspect that someone will probably clip out me describing once again the definition of goose and post it on LSF and post it on Destiny subreddit. Oh, there it is. 31 minutes ago, right on the mark. Hassan makes a point about the usage of certain slurs. And then immediately the same people that say the N-word like fucking clockwork turn around and go, oh, bro, why is he so racist? Why is he so racist? And yet, no matter how hard you try, this genuinely does not change people's attitudes. Let's take a look at this fucking chatter. Because remember, clips are only for subscribers. Only subscribers can clip. So this person is a subscriber specifically so they can clip stuff for Destiny. The amount, 19 month subscriber. 19 month subscriber. There's no fucking way. Dude, I get it. You're afraid of Destiny passing you in relevance after all of these years. But Hassan, man, this is just getting sad. It's like you think undercover DGG assassins are just waiting behind every corner to get you. Why would you think that anything stupid you say would remain private in your community? You aren't streaming to 50 people anymore, Hassan. Sure, your viewership has fallen off a cliff, but you still have thousands of people watching you. And with that many eyes in one place, it would be stupid to believe that anything you say wouldn't be spread outside of your community. You aren't special, Hassan. Literally every live streamer deals with this. Every single popular streamer gets clipped in their worst moments. That's just how it goes. That's part of the profession. That's literally what LSF is made for. But most of these other streamers aren't going to come up with some weird schizo allegations to their own subscribers, mind you, because they've been clipped in some situation that they don't like. I think you need to be real with yourself and understand that this is just an absolutely horrible look, dude. Let's take a look at that clip that Hassan is so upset about. If you are more upset about an ideological term used not just against Cubans or definitely not used against all Cubans at all, okay? And simply used against those who are uh, collab in collaboration with the American government, oftentimes slavers, or oftentimes those who were uh, advocates for the prior dictatorship in Cuba, if you want to talk about Cuba, the Batista dictatorship, that if you have an issue with that statement, if you have an issue with that, what you call, which it is not, it is a pejorative for sure, then ultimately you have to, you know, reckon with all of the, you know, obvious instances of white racism that's coming from said community. Jeez, Hassan, dude, why are you so desperate to not give up the Destiny's community is racist card, but you're also simultaneously willing to fight to the death for the right to say Gano, which no matter how much you don't like it, is defined as a You can wish and wish that it isn't, but it is. It's kind of funny how you're like this anti-racism crusader while simultaneously thinking that your racism is actually okay because his opinion is the correct one and yours isn't. And anyone that disagrees with him 
is a horrible person supporting a racist community. It's almost like this guy doesn't realize he's just sitting there, staring into a mirror, 1v1-ing himself. His mind is just so absolutely consumed by destiny that he can't help himself. Like honestly, if anything could be described as living rent-free, this would have to be it. Hassan is so obsessed with not taking L's in public, yet he does this. I gotta say, of all the Twitch streamers that aren't deserved of their community, Hassan has gotta be at the tippity top of that. I've never witnessed a man that could be so petty to his own subscribers that literally give him money every single month. Like honestly, I can't tell you how many clips I've come across of this guy ripping apart his own community every single time they disagree with him on the slightest of things. I'm gonna take a lot of pleasure in releasing this big video I'm working on him. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe. God, it's, it's so funny that this guy sits there wondering why his community is falling off of a cliff. Hmm, let me think for a second. Maybe it's because your own community doesn't feel safe from your shenanigans. They're probably afraid of being brigaded by your chat every time you are slightly disagreed with. Man, Hassan, dude, this isn't healthy. Not for you, not for your community, not for anybody. This just fuels the people that hate you. You need to stop, if only for your own good. Like, the only reason I could see you being so damn adamant about Gugano not being a slur is purely because you don't want Destiny to have any ammunition against you. Cause you're one of those lefties that like lording over how progressive he is to everybody else. And you love calling him and his community racist for all that n-word stuff. And you just sit there portraying yourself as this progressive leftist. But if Gugano is a slur, then you lose your high ground to call Destiny a racist. And truly, I think that's all that actually matters to you. You don't actually care about it being a slur or not. You just don't want him to have any ammunition to throw the same allegations back at you. And this is just what happens when you try to purity test literally everyone you don't agree with. Eventually, the same comes for you. And it looks like you really don't like it when that happens, do you? Man, I've got some advice for you. Take a chill pill. Being this afraid of crossing every corner because the DGG assassins might get you is honestly just not a way to live, man. This has to be so exhausting for you, does it not? 